We have Lewis in the wild habitat. Welcome back everyone. This week we're at Lucas's place and we've been building up uh, some more, more things. Um, we had Jesse doing the wonderful introduction, doing his best Steve Irwin impression. Uh, at least I think it was. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, we're happy Canada Day everyone. I have some great news. I am now Canadian, so I, I should get my passport soon. I passed my citizenship and uh, yeah, now I'm one of the cool cub cool kids on the in the cool club so that's all that's all cool don't know where i was going with that anyway uh yeah so we we came to lucas's um just uh play with bikes do some training do some drills everybody likes to do running drills over and over and over again um this is just early start of the morning uh we dug a hole as you can now see and we put these little tires in um, pretty fun to jump there's quite a lot of us here um I'm going to give a hand. Uh, not everyone arrived at the same time. So Second time wasn't so good. I was wondering what was going on. I thought it was just me. Well, that still felt felt pretty good, but it turns out there's actually quite a lot of give going over these tyres. And um, also, this mud wasn't really packing in very well, so I'm playing tractor with my bike right now. Try and pack it in a little bit better. Um, just use the weight of the bike to try and flatten it down. But uh, it probably needs like stone and to dry out a little bit, and, like you know, because... There's not very much mud there, and it doesn't take much to kick it all away. Yeah, quality content right there. Anyway, so riding round and round circles, a little bit slick in that uh, bottom corner, but it was it was good to get some practice. Um, just trying to do turns, and I felt pretty confident going around this part of the track. Get some good speed going down here. Try and brake and hit the rut and run, ride the rut through. You can do the first part of it fine. But this second bit, oh, I kept losing the front. It kept kept wanting to like fall in. It, it was much easier standing going through that, to be honest. I felt like I could go faster standing through it, but I also wanted to just practice the whole like turning thing. Um, we were watching some uh, pro MX guy. He's been racing like, was coaching like half his life or something like that. And he was basically saying, um, the best shape to make is a bean shape. Um, so we built a bean down the back instead of the figure of eight. So we removed the figure of eight and uh, put the bean in. And uh, you can see this this beam here um, is is pretty pretty good. Wait, God, I still can't ride around the corners. Um, yeah, so going around this beam. Uh, oh, okay, well, not in this clip, but whatever. <laughs> I forget which clip sequence is what because I usually lay out the sequence first and then just talk non-stop over it, and then that's my video done. Um, still can't still can't ride around round just fine. It's not it's not great. Um, but yeah, so a lot of people came today. Um, we all there, and obviously, almost everyone brought their bikes. Um, and it was it was good to get out and play on some other people's bikes. Uh, I got some clips of it later. I was playing on Andy's 390. That was that was good fun. I'm assuming Jesse I was, was just here. fucking throwing mud everywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. So fucking slippery. And then there's uh, Steve, Stephen, Andy. Jess is going to do a massive send, as you can see. A uh, new guy called Josh, Lucas, I, Chris, uh, and Derek turned up later. So, oh, uh, and I said Andy? I think I said Andy. Anyway, yep. So there was, a, there was a lot of us here playing in this area. There was still plenty enough space. Like, even with all the bikes and all the people ride, riding around, there's still plenty of space to play safely, I reckon. Um, oh, I still can't do that corner. Got to learn to ride those ruts. I get better eventually. It's just... I don't get better at this though. Bloody hell. <laughs> Almost front flipped over the bike. My bum! Ah, so about my ass. So this week, I may or may not have fallen down my stairs oh, man, and buried in the ground. for about five steps. Uh, well, I slipped with my left foot because it's a wooden steps and oh. uh, my left foot, well, I had socks on and it was like the morning and I was holding my breakfast so I couldn't hold onto the rail. And I had my breakfast and my coffee. Got to always can't hit the it. obstacle again. I just can't. I can't do it well. I'm just shit at it. Um, yeah, so I had coffee in one hand and my breakfast in the other, and my left foot slipped out. And um, I basically slid down like five steps, bouncing my right butt cheek on every step on the way down. Now I'm just riding around slow and fucking things up. And now I've got myself stuck. And as I fell down the stairs on my ass, 
Uh, like, my oats went everywhere, my bowl smashed, I was very upset. I saved half my coffee though, I didn't break the cup, so at least that was alright. But my, my butt really, really hurts today. Um, it's got, it is basically completely purple and green. It's kind of gross, the, the butt cheek that is. Um, and, <laughs> yeah, so every time I messed, made a mistake and the butt hit me in the ass, I really, really felt it. Coming along here. So, <laughs> I hit that tire and the whole tire caved in. I thought I, it would like bounce me upwards, but it didn't. It just caved in and I, I just went forwards and fell over. So the tire deforms. Yeah, so the tire deforms. We, we need to fill those in. Very nice pivot, Lucas. And off he goes. There's so many people here. It's so much fun. It was just a good day, just practicing drills. Um, and... You know, trying out other bikes and getting a feel. So, Addy's, Addy's let me... Oh, yeah. Don't even know how to start his bike. So, Addy let me have a go on his bike, which is cool. I, I, it was, it's good to try something completely different. This feels very different to the two-stroke. It's been a while since I've ridden this. So, I was like, whoa! It puts so much traction down. Uh, and then I noticed the front brakes weren't working so great. Um, and I was like, is this the four-stroke thing where, like, you know, four-strokes just put power down so good? I was like, I can't even seem to spin it out. Um, and I'm just like, well, okay, well, let's pull the throttle even harder and see what happens. Um, well, I mean, I'm trying to beam first, just to get used to turning on it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I couldn't really stop there. I wasn't really sure what was going on. I was like, is that me? Is it just the tires or or what? Um, riding around. And I do some tests after a while and I'm like, oh yeah, it's definitely definitely the front brakes there. I can't even really lock them up that well. But the bike rides super, super smooth. So yeah, so I'm tired right now. I'm like, is it, is it packing up? I mean, it's kind of packed up a little bit. But it's not so bad. Um, but yeah, see, that's me like breaking hard and it's kind of just rolling to a stop. It's not just skidding with a donut of mud. Because I was looking over there, over looking over, I'm like, ah, boy. <laughs> trying to convince Andy it's not such a big deal to uh, just fall over. Doesn't matter if you fall over. You've seen me fall over about a thousand times, and then I stole Lucas's bike went for a ride. It's so smooth. It's so nice. I assume it's a combination of like having loose and the good suspension. The boys over there are just making a matrix. We don't need like 15 chefs in the kitchen, so I thought I'd just come and watch the other guys for a bit. Here's Josh. And he's trying to, well, smash the, smash the tiny little logs pieces. And Josh made it over as well. So they're learning how to do new techniques. Do the safety squid, Steven. Safety squid. Alright, so they made a matrix. I fell over in the matrix. <laughs> yeah, alright. Turns out one side's a little harder than the other. The side where the wheels fall perfectly in between, or don't even fall in between the logs. So I'm just stuck on the log and in the logs. But I need to work on my technique to get out, obviously, because I was absolute dog shit. Even, even trying like quite a few times, I couldn't make it out. You can see all the mess I made on the right-hand side. But the left side is uh, a little bit easier, even though I still managed to fall over on the left side as well. Actually, I didn't fall over. I sort of just hopped off to the side. Um, because I didn't want to, uh, smash the side off the Matrix. But, you know, you fail an obstacle, go and try it again a few times. I don't know what the fuck I was doing there. I hit that so slow, yeah, fine. fell over. I think I must have fallen over about 400 times today. Uh, partly because my leg doesn't feel good, and partly because I'm just riding too slow. No, I say my leg, my butt, my butt. Well, actually, it's my butt and my other side of the body's hip, because... I don't know, falling downstairs, wouldn't recommend it. Like, 2 out of 10 experience. Probably, probably wouldn't do it again if I could avoid it. Yeah, so, all in all, <laughs> good day at Casa de Lucas. We've done, we've done enough left riding, we actually did a shitload of right turns as well, but my GoPro ran out, so I could, didn't really have much footage of that. But I, I think you get the gist. Just a lot of riding, a lot of admiration onto watching Jesse do the, the big tyres and just like, almost perfectly nail it every single time until he was like, I'm getting tired after he's jumped it like 30 times in a row perfectly and starts getting a little bit wobbly. It's like, yeah, no shit, man. <laughs> Anyways, that'll do for this week. See ya.